So I had an opportunity this year to share um, a story that was really touching to me as I reflected uh, on this past holiday season and as we make a connection between that and Black History um, Month, um, which is of course the month of February. And when we think about history, we know history is typically passed down in many forms, whether it's oral um, forms, whether it's written, um, whether it's documented in some sort of art or, or even in artifacts. Um, history can be passed from one generation to another. Reflecting on that, um, I thought back uh, to my grandmother, Alberta Hill, who, who raised me uh, from the age of two. And one of the things that my grandmother would do for me was make me a cake on my birthday. Um, it was a red velvet cake, which is one of my favorite cakes. And uh, it was kind of like her thing in the neighborhood, in the community, she was the cake lady. And she baked cakes for a lot of people. Um, uh, and that was kind of like her side, um, her little side job um, that she did in order to bring in additional income. But I would assist her in baking those cakes, but she would always make me a red velvet cake um, up until the time that she passed. And so for a few years after she passed, I would get someone to make a cake for me, um, but, but that kind of got lost during this whole COVID um, uh, experience. And so I thought about um, making a cake for myself, um, but, but not just by myself. Um, I wanted to pass down the tradition of making that cake along with my, my children, so my, 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 my daughters uh, and my wife. Um, what is great about this opportunity is that my grandmother has a uh, recipe book um, for baking and every recipe in this book is handwritten um, and uh, when you turn to the pages you know it has the stains on it from the oils and the cocoa and to see her handwriting um, for the first time in many many years uh, was really emotional um, but just gratifying and, and it's almost like when you open this book up, this, this spirit that resides in it kind of came out and it was an opportunity for me to bond in the kitchen with my girls over the winter holidays, doing something that I grew, that I grew up doing and passing this tradition down, giving them an opportunity to read her handwriting for the first time, um, to see the, uh, the, the stains in the book, um, to see her name and her little initials and the little notes that she put by each um, uh, recipe. Um, and it was just full of love um, 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 for me and for the experience of doing it with my own daughters. Um, and one of the things that you know, we learned, um, you know, one, uh, some of the things that I thought I didn't know, I actually remembered as, uh, as I, would, I was baking the cake. Some things just kind of naturally came back um, uh, to me as we were working on, on baking this cake. Um, the cake didn't turn out great. It was it's definitely not my grandmother's cake. But I think for my first attempt and, and, and more importantly, the experience of doing it with my daughters uh, and having that book as a part of our family history, and now a part of our family tradition, it was well worth um, the hassle and um, the failures of trying to make the cake. So it wasn't even in that sense, I guess, a failure. It was a success because I'm hoping next year when I sit down to make this cake again uh, and other recipes in this book, one, um, I will do it with my family and with my daughter, with my children, and then we will pass these recipes on from generation to generation. And two, um, I will get better. Uh, at baking and something that she loved, something that was a passion of hers and something that obviously uh, was very passionate for me. So I'm just, I'm, I'm thrilled and, and thankful for this opportunity. And during this month of, of Black History Month, I remember uh, and honor my grandmother in, uh, for what she has done um, and, and who, for who she was.